Okay, of course I couldn't wait, you know, to open this bag of watches. Taking the staples out so that the bag, I don't want to rip the bag. So I just pull the staples out. They usually just staple it shut. It's always heavy too, but there's never anything good in there. Well, there's my food. So at the little mom and pop's place, I just did a $73 order on Instacart too. I wasn't even gonna work today and I was like, I'm going out and making money. But I'll show you what I found. I found a pair of Big E's. Now I was looking at some of them selling. These are made in China. They're not LVC though, so they're not Levi's Vintage Company. They're, these are, I think these are an actual pair of um, authentic Levi's. They're, they're double X. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on these. Um, let me see, where is the, there's a lot of things you have to look for. They're definitely authentic, says quality clothing. I've never seen that tag before right there. I've never seen that, so I don't know what that is, but I'm um, looking at them and they, they're definitely authentic. Um, they're like a size 27, so they're really small. Um, I think there's an extra, one that you're supposed to look out for is there or oh, that might be well there's tissue in the pocket is there money in the pocket I, I don't know if these are women's or what these are but um i think this is a big deal too this where the cross meets right there so we'll see i have to i think that's what i smell in my car unless it's me funky sometimes you get a funky pair but they're definitely not um they're not red line Red line is when you see the little red lines in there on the selvage. This is called selvage when it's folded over and reconstructed. Um, and then a lot of times the red, there'll be red line in here too. There'll be a red line right in there. But these are not red line selvage. Um, so I don't know. I have to really look into these. I don't know why somebody would sew a big E on there. But either way you look at it, they're big E. They could be worth a thousand. They could be worth fifty. So it all depends on my, um, I thought I've done enough research on Levi's and apparently I haven't. So I don't know why they're selling for $50. I got a, um, I got an Orvis top. It's just a blouse, but I did get a bunch of watches. She actually didn't even have the watches out yet. So I just kind of went in there. I got a Pulsar date. That's a day date. Um, that's a nice watch, probably about 20 bucks. Um, and I got a bunch of other ones that I'm gonna have to go through and look. One of them is actually gold filled. It's 12 karat gold filled. And uh, I paid 40 for all the watches, which I normally don't do. That's actually a little too, that's more than what I wanted to pay, but they have individual prices on their watches. They don't just do like, like if I go to um, the community aid, they have like bags for $25. And in here in the Salvation Army, they never really have watches. So let's go in here and see what we can find. All right, so now we're at the Salvation Army. Okay, so Salvation Army was a bust. Um, I walked out of there with nothing. There was a Reebok bag. It was like, it was half off of everything except for like white tags. Um, I put the bag back. I had something else. I put that back because I just don't want to list. Um, even in the um, community aid that I was just in, I did pick up. They just caught me as I went out the door for the watches. I'm going to show you those when I get home. I picked this up. Um, some of them are selling in really high numbers. This is still new in the box. It's a K-Line electric train. I guess it's um, something that I guess you can use on for your train, for your model, for your train kit. But it's really old. It is... Um, it's a girl, obviously. It's from 1989, so I know that's going to be backwards. I have to work on that. And then I got a bag of watches. She grabbed me on the way out. We're going to go through these later. I'm getting ready to go into Goodwill. I'm going to get some food for the family, and then I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to, we're going to go through these watches together. Whew, a little hot today. So not a bad score. Um, I got a couple of these things I got for... Um, my one son, he likes to do like birdhouses and stuff. So I got them. Every time I see these, I always see these in the Goodwill too. They're just like little wooden kits. I think you can paint them. And then we got the Go Yankees. I think this is vintage. This is a Christmas ornament. So that's not really... We got a couple puzzles. But this right here, 
People have them listed for like $70, but in, in actuality, they're only selling for like $40. So I paid three bucks for it. It's gonna sell for 40. Not too bad. I got these white mountain puzzles. I only pick puzzles up when they're sealed. This one's pretty cool. This one's like a pencil design. It's just a bunch of pencils. And then I got another one, and I think that was it. There was some Dr. Scholl shoes in there. They were new, but they're not really selling like that. They're not a good brand to pick up. They might be expensive. This one's all advertisements. That's really cool. So I, I believe that one of these, I think that these puzzles are valued pretty good. Um, probably thir between $30 a piece. So I'm gonna see if there's somewhere else that I can sell some of these items on because right now I'm paying on a pay PayPal capital loan and when I sell things it's really hitting me up pretty bad so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a lot of cross listing so I think that's what I need to do um, I try to get my niece to do it for me today and she's having a hard time doing the cross listing so I'm gonna move all this crap in the back and not too bad we're gonna go home we're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna go through these watches <clears throat> okay so we are back at the crib by the way if you guys like this type of content please subscribe to my channel give me thumbs up share with all your friends and get it known put it out there rock shop okay um we are gonna get into the watches we're gonna do them I'm gonna pull the staples out of this so it's gonna take a couple seconds whatever I'm gonna show you what I got and I am definitely going to have to shave tonight. So my granddaughter and my grandson hate it, you know. It's, it's itchy and I don't really like when it grows in either, so. But my wife, she don't, she no likey. She no likey either, so. Maybe I'll just shave it, shave it straight with a razor, huh? All right, so we got this open. We're gonna deal with this. This bag looks kind of promising. Not too spectacular. The one shop I, 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 did, I did pay a little bit more than I'm used to paying. This looks like a really good bag. Wow, that's really cool. Is that a Timex? Look at that Timex. That's ridiculous. That is really dope, man. That is a Timex. Yeah. Check that out. It is a Timex. See that? Check that out. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think this was like $2. There's a couple of them online. They do sell between $25 and $35. What are they doing up there? Oh, my God. Coming through the ceiling, bruh. Okay, so there's a little bit of profit there. They're interrupting my video. Um, this is Mashup Carnage Superhero Masher Marvel. Um, obviously, it's Venom. This was, I think this was $3. Somebody has one listed for $70, but in, in reality, it's probably going to sell for about $40 like the other one. I don't know if there was more that sold. I'll probably use my scanner and, beep beep and scan it, but you get the idea. About $40. I may even put that on Mercari. These puzzles are between $50 and $60 on Amazon. I mean, it's a no-brainer. They have a low um, selling. Some people just don't really search for things. If they see it on Amazon, they're going to buy it. And maybe they might feel safer to buy things on Amazon. So I would probably ship this in a regional rate. A will probably fit right in. So it'll probably, hopefully if it doesn't go far, which you never know on Amazon, you can't really control your shipping when you do Amazon, when you do, um, when you do the type that I do, which I do um, fulfilled by Merchant. I don't do FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon, where they do it. Okay, so here's the total dollar that I spent there. I think it was, so that was 53 because I spent 40 on the watches, which I never do that. I really over overpaid for those watches. So I hope there's a, I hope I made good um, good choices on which ones I picked up. So the Goodwill, I only spent $10 at the Goodwill, and 
Um, I didn't get anything from the Salvo. There was nothing in the Salvation Army. Community aid was $29. If you can read backwards. Oh, man, I got to get a camera. I, I need to just get a camera just for this particular use because I, if I turn it around, I have to know. I have to see what I'm doing. And my camera on my computer is just terrible. So I guess you got to spend more than $60 to get a good camera, huh? All right, so I picked this Orvis shirt up. I didn't, wasn't buying enough. I wasn't planning on getting the watches. I was only going to get the Big E's, which I already showed you guys earlier. I got this Orvis. Um, the only reason why I really picked it up is because it is, it's new with tags. It's a woman's blouse. They wanted $10 for it. I, I think I overpaid for it. I'm hoping that this particular blouse will sell for at least $30 and I can kind of get my money back for it. So, um, we shall see, said the blind man. So, that's the puzzles and that, that's all that. So, that's not too bad considering I spent $60, $70. I spent $100. Um, I should get my money back maybe with both the puzzles. I could probably lock the puzzles together on eBay, but I don't want to get hit with that fee um, for my loan. Oh, that's good. This is an Invicta. This is a really good watch. This is an Invicta Angel. Um, while we're doing this, I'll try not to put my face directly into the camera. All right, let's see. An Invicta... Invicta Angel Woman's Watch, um, about fifty bucks. It's a fifty dollar watch, new. So that thing's in like brand new condition. We're gonna do sold. I'm gonna see if I can find one with a rubber band. Um, most of them are new. Silicone. Okay, that's what we want. We want the silicone band, and we want. There's about 18 of them that were pre-owned. So we're looking at... Ooh, that one sold for $50. Invicta Angel Women's Watch Purple Lavender Band with Rhinestone Bezel. I wonder if the bezel turns. Yeah, the bezel spins. You hear that? It actually spins, too. So this is a beautiful watch. It's like a day date. Um, we'll go by the number. Let me get my magnifying glass since I'm blind as a bat. This is a tri trit night night glow. It's 0735. Let me type the model number in. 0735. Just give you a general idea what it's really worth. It's about a $40 watch. So there you go. That paid for the whole bag. So very nice. And this Timex is just this is just a really cool watch. Really dope. Um, so, no, these were the watches that I paid $25 for this bag. Oh, this is Star Trek. And this is new. Genuine leather. This is a Star Trek watch. So, I'm guessing that this watch is worth a few bucks, too. Star Trek is not really super popular, but... It is... Make it 50... Oh, make it so. So this is a Timex. We're just gonna might as well look them up while we're at it, right? This is a Timex. I'll take you right along with me. You should always look your items up. You should do it before you leave the store, but when you're buying watches in bulk and bags like that, you can't really look. You can kind of only just kind of um, inspect the bag. And if I usually see one good watch that will pay for the whole bag, then it's worth to buy all of them because there's always going to be a couple in there that are really, really nice. This one is a Make It, Make It So, T R E K, Star Trek, Timex Make It So, Star Trek. There's one that bid on $25. There's the same, oh wow, Vintage Star Trek Watch, Timex 93, oh, Make It. That is a five. Let's make it 50. It must be their 50th anniversary. So this is an $80 watch. That one sold, that one sold for 80.
This is new. This is brand new. So this is going to sell for $80. That's really awesome. Wow. We're already, I'm already over $100 with the watch. That one sold for $25. Um, so there was two used. So we're going to go out and we're going to see if there's any listed. There's none. There isn't any listed. So, and that one's brand new. I'm going to list it for $100. Um, I probably have to put a battery in it. This one is, I, I've never heard of this brand. It says Type B2, E-I-G-E-R. It, it doesn't look like an expensive watch, but you just, you never know. E-I. Are we having fun yet? I'm waiting for my soda. Tiger watch. Okay. 16, 20, 20. Oh, so this is going to be on the more the, the low end. Here's another one. Sports edition. These are brand new. These were never worn. These are brand new. They still have the little tags on the back of them, and they're in perfect condition. So these are new. I might sell these in a lot. This one is a, spe a sports edition, and this one is a Type B2. So there's the sport. Let's look for the sports edition. There's 150 of them. Sports uh, edition. 10.49, seven dollars. We're looking at. We're not looking at sold listings. So one, a sports edition one sold for 10. So they're more on the low. They're on the lower end. This one's really cool too. There's another one. I wonder where they get. It. I think people just donate. Someone will just donate all their watches. This one's brand new. It still has the tap. It still has the piece in it to keep it from ticking. So that means when I pull that, that the battery is probably still is going to be good in it. I'll pull it anyway off and we'll go from there. This one just basically just has the seal. I can't really see that. I, th I think it says pluribus. I think that's just the like the dollar, the, 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 the American seal or whatever you want to call it. So that one's probably junk. Here's another one. They have no weight to them. They're, they're, they're absolutely garbage. Here's another one. Well, I wouldn't call this one garbage. I guess I could sell these two together because they both have the same theme. That one's like our troops, so that one's definitely not garbage. <laughs> so, I mean, the quality of the watch is crap, but the meaning of it is awesome. So, here's another Iger. All right, so then we're not going to get too much for them, but with the Invicta and the Star, the Star Trek one, that's where the money's at. But it, it was worn. They never took this off, though. They never took that off because it's bent. You can see it's bent. But it's a good leather band. It's really thick. It's a really nice band. Okay. So where are we at? We're 11 minutes in. Um, I can't make it fast because I'm enjoying myself too much. You know, this looks like a, this is a junk watch. Yeah, this is garbage. That's crap. There's nothing doesn't even have a name to it. Ooh, this is heavy. I think this is the Lucky brand. Yeah, this is a nice watch. It says Lucky brand. It says, what does it say on the back? It says something made with peace and love. Blah, blah, blah. But this is really, this is really nice. That's really nice. It's got... The, the, the bands, you can take them all out. They all look like they come apart so that you can, yeah, you can take them all out so that you can size it. So this watch is really, really sizable. That's pretty awesome, which is nice to know. I usually measure them. I actually measure my watches. I measure the circumference. You know, I usually lay them flat and I measure, you know, the size of the wrist because that's kind of important. This is really cool. I think it's got like a, 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 yeah, it has clovers on it. It has a clover in the back too, if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Can you see that? It's not really focusing, but you get the idea. That's a dope watch. I think this is a Swiss Army. Believe it or not, this might not have, don't look like the greatest quality watch, but some of these Swiss Armies are worth good money. If this is an older one, this one's a Swiss Army. It's actually, 
It's Swiss made, which is a good thing. It's a stainless Swiss Army brand. Yeah, so this is probably going to be worth a few bucks, this Swiss Army. Few, few dollar dollar make you holla. Oh, another guest watch. I just sold one of these, and it was beat up. It was dented up. This one's in beautiful condition. This is the same watch I just sold, but in perfect shape. You can't really see that, can you? See? See the guess? Nope, you can't really see it. Sorry, folks. This is another moon. Whenever you see the moon down there, it has the moon at the bottom. That's called moon phase. So, I got a lot of experience with watches, obviously. Here's a fossil. This is a nice fossil watch. This is really nice. Got a decent size band on it. I got my little Timex, just an Indie Glow. I definitely thrifted that. Okay, so this one is DS Sport. All right, so I'm examining this watch. It's like, it's nothing really special, but um, it's really cool because it's all, it's all pins, right? Um, all clo not closed pins, but um, safety pins with beads. I just think that's really cool. I think that's neat. I'm just fascinated with watches. I don't know what it is. I have no idea why I'm so fascinated. I'm just a watch guy. Some guys don't even like watches. This one is a VS Sport. I have to look it up. I, I don't think it's like Versace or anything. I think it's just probably junk. This one's a Citizen. This one's nice. That's a nice Citizen. It's got the bling around it. it sometimes they, there are real diamonds and real gold in them sometimes. Because Citizen is, a, is more of a higher end brand. The ones that you want are the Echo. The Echo, Eco, whatever it's called. I think, is that dirt? I can't tell if that's dirt on the glass. Yeah, I think the glass needs clean. Yeah, it needs, I think the glass needs to be cleaned. Uh, it's just a stainless steel. It's This is a really nice watch. Definitely worth putting a battery in. Yeah, I think that, let's give it a little, give it a little bump here. Well, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's the design on it. It look, almost looks like it's got kind of like a scratch on it or something. I don't know. Can you get away from my stuff? You're not chewing my stuff. Get out of here. There's another Iger. That's, I think that's how you pronounce that. That one's a gold edition. These watches are just basically junk. They just have fancy names. Get away. Stop chewing my stuff. Kick your butt. This is cool. I wonder if this is old or not. I'm trying to open it. Yeah, push down. Nothing special. It's just a bracelet. Quartz. I'll put a battery in it. I might get 10 bucks for it. I sold a watch today for $17. This one has a nice mother of pearl. Nothing special. It's really nice. It's got a really nice band on it. That's really pretty. See, women like stuff like that, you know? Mother of pearl. It's just Japan movement. Nothing special. But this is in really, this is the first watch lot that I've bought that everything was in perfect condition. Like, all these watches are in great shape. Except for this one. No. This one's okay. What is that? Is that a Spidel? Is that what that is? Yeah, that's a Spidel Express. That's just the band. The band is really, the band's been through heck, huh? This is American Legion Department of Pennsylvania. I always pick up Pennsylvania watches, obviously, because we're in Pennsylvania. Okay, not a bad... This was not a bad bag at all. This one is... I think this is a Charles... Is that... I can't read that. It's so small. The band just, like, just came right off. It's just a little... Nothing special. Charles something, probably junk. I'll have to get a better look at that. I usually take my phone and I use my camera and zoom in really close with my camera on my phone. It's actually better than a magnifying glass. 
This one is... I can't really see. I can't read that. Yeah, this is... This, I think this is just a quartz. Most of the ones I got at the other shop were all... They were... Most of them are wind up. And this one's really cool. This one looks like it might be gold. No, this is rumors. Is it a wind up? No. It looks really nice, but it's not. Rumors, just another crappy brand. Probably Mall, JCPenney or something. Nothing special. This one's nice. Let's see. What do we have here? It's really dirty, so it's, it's definitely old. It's got a lot of tarnish to it. I can't even get it out. You know what? It clips, but it doesn't come out. Oh, you know what? Maybe you gotta turn it sideways. No. Oh, it just broke too, didn't it? No. Oh, it clips this way. Never seen a clasp like that. Instead of instead of this piece coming out, this piece goes on. Let's see if we can show you. This piece goes on like this. And then you push it down and clip it on. That's unusual. Pretty unusual. Can't really see it, huh? Whatever. This one is... This is a Timex. It's got a big piece on it, so I know it's a wind-up. Whenever it has a big wheel, this is the... Oh, I can't remember what this is called. It has a specific name, but... This one doesn't... Is it moving? This one probably doesn't have a second hand. I hate when they don't have second hands, because you know what you have to do. You have to set it to a certain time and see if it moves. So I always set them for 9 o'clock, and then we'll wind her up, and we'll check and see if she works. So there she is at 9 o'clock. You can see that. Set for 9. We'll see. Now we're going to look at some of the ones. So that was a really good, really awesome lot. So for this one, these two watches right here, even the Fossil watch, these two watches right here we're looking at $100. So not bad for twenty five. We've already trip. We've already tripled our money in profit. Another thing I love about watches, if you really want to get into watches, you you can look for really expensive ones, but you can do ones that are like thirty, forty, even twenty dollars. They are so cheap to ship. They're really, really cheap because they're so light. You know, watch. Some watches weigh two ounces. They're just they're incredibly light. You know, unless you're getting into heavier watches, and then even some of the heavier watches are really, really don't weigh that much. You know, they only weigh so much. So, this is what I got from that shop. This is a rubber band, isn't it? I didn't notice that it was rubber. But this one really took, um, I took notice to this one, and it's also a wind-up, so we're going to test that too. This is a Timex. Let me see. We're going to set this to 9 also. So, and this one's working. This one has a second hand, so we don't have to we don't have to set it. It's actually working. There's the second hand if you guys can see it. Let's see. Man, we're just not getting the lighting that we need. There it is. Is it moving? Very slowly. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. So, this one's working. That one's nice. This one was pretty too. When I seen this one, I was like, okay, I'm going to jump on this one. I guess it would help if I put it in. This one is really nice. It's kind of blinged out. It has some stones in it. I'm not sure if they're real or not. Um, They actually, I don't know if those are diamonds. I don't even know what this is. I can't see it. Steel box, base metal bezel steel back this is really pretty I'm trying to figure out what it is I think that this might be real gold well that's definitely a good sign it says Italy on it but I see a little chip right there so I'm guessing that it's not it looks silver behind that chip it says Italy It says Italy right here. Right there it says Italy. I'm trying to see what, what it is. I 
I cannot read that. Okay, I actually have another phone over here. I'm going to use the camera on it and try to zoom in on that because I really want to show you guys what we're looking at here. Okay, so I did sell something on Poshmark today. Unbelievable. All right, come on camera. We're going to see what this watch is. I am, to, I am determined. Okay, I got it. I know how to use the camera. I just set this phone up. All right, so we're going to zoom in. Yeah, this is, I have my, um, have my niece working for me and she's using this camera. This is just a Motorola. Their, their cameras are terrible. I don't know if this is old going off because I just turned my phone on. Yeah, because I don't hear anything going off on my phone. Let's see, come on. Can we zoom in on that? I'm not getting anything. Terrible. Yeah, now it just got dark. not see what that's okay eight o'clock it's just a this is a beautiful watch i really have to look at this and i don't have a magnifying glass good enough to see it i do have a smaller one let's go get the other one here's the watch kit <laughs> Comes in handy, let me tell you. All right, these are all ones that I need, still need to do. I need batteries. Huh. Definitely behind in watches. I'm super addicted to buying them now. I buy them all the time, so I'm really behind in, in listing them. <laughs> okay, so where did we put the watch? There it is. Okay, so this actually has a light. This is four watches. It actually has a light on it. The light is, the light's kind of dead. This is a Jules, Jules Jurgensen Quartz. Made in Italy though. Jurgensen Quartz. Nice if I could get some. Okay, so I know this is a good brand. It's not a super good brand, but that style of watch. It's a really pretty watch. I, I think it's plated. Okay, so we're gonna do the rest of them. We have this one and this. This is the one that the lady was like, oh, well, this is gold plated, so I'm gonna have to, you know. And I tried to explain to her that, yeah, it's 12 carat, it's, it's 12 carat filled. It's not, you know. I mean, I guess filled is better than plated, but we'll see. I think this is the one. Oh, okay, you got to push down on the, the clasp and then pull that out. Oh, it goes like that, and then it goes in. Cool. And then it has stretch to it also. Interesting. This is definitely an interesting watch. Alright, okay. Alright, so... I don't think it says anything on there. Come on. Uh, yeah, it does. It says something right on here, too. So I think she had a better magnifying glass than me. There's like 1, 20, 12. Yeah, this one's the one that's 12 carat. So it probably says it on... This one's a wind up. I can't see what kind it is though. I definitely have to do more research on this one, but this is definitely a wind up. One of them was actually ticking too. I don't see a second hand, so we're gonna do nine o'clock on this one. Ah, come on. This one's really touchy. Okay. All right, so that one's set to nine. We're gonna check that in a couple seconds. We're gonna check the other one that I just did. That one is working, so we can put that away. That one's actually 10 minutes past. Good, not too bad. 
Okay. All right, now this one really caught my eye because as soon as I seen it, I was like, okay, so it's definitely a hidden. It's a hidden one. I don't know if this one is um, plated or I think it says Taiwan or Japan on it. That's usually a really bad sign. It says China right on it, so you know it's not. It's probably not plated or anything. I think I should be able to. That thing is just too small. I can't even use that. I need a really, really good magnifying glass. They're definitely hard to come by. This one is. I think it says Thailand Movement Base Metal. But it's really cool because it opens. It opens this way. Alright, it opens up like that. See how it has a little piece? It opens, and I think it's like Mother of Pearl on the inside. This one is. This one is Ann Klein, so. Nothing special. Nothing special. It's a really pretty watch. I can probably get like 25 bucks for it. Okay, so this one is. This one is another Seiko. This is an older one. This one is. I don't think that this one is a wind. No, this one's not a wine. It's probably a quartz. Has a regular back on it. This one's just a regular. Just a Seiko. It's a little beat up, so nothing special. They were trying to get 10 for this one. Something about this watch also caught my eye. Like, really caught my eye. Alright, we're going to put... It's supposed to have a clasp. It's supposed to have a chain. Let me see. It's supposed to have a chain right there to keep the clasp from coming apart, but it's broken right there. So, but it does come open. This one's really pretty too. I think this is a wind up. This one has like enamel. They knew what they were talking about too, because she even said in, it's enamel and it's got a lot of stones in it, but they're. This one is, I think this is a wind-up also. Yep, this one's a wind-up. Okay, so we're going to set. Okay. We're going to set this one to nine and test this one. And see if we can get something out of it. Let me see if I can see what on earth it is. It's so hard to see with these magnifying glasses. I think it says Pierre. Ah, uh, well this one says 17 joules, so that's a great, that's a good thing. I think this is sterling also. I think the band is sterling. I'm kind of guessing. If I can find 925 on it, which is a possibility. We're gonna do a little bit more research on this one. This one is also a wind up. This is a beautiful watch. I'm th I'm thinking, I'm almost positive that this is maybe sterling. I don't know about the um about the stones, but you never know. This maybe this is a really expensive watch. Let me move. What do you say we check together? I think that we should check together. I keep looking over there. I don't know why. The camera's right here. It's just pain in the butt. I think it says A is that a P E? Alright, let's see. It is P E D R E and then 17 joules. P E D R E. This one is this one's not working. We wound it. And this one, sometimes you got to give it a little, a little shake. You got to give it a little push for it to work. It's a little dusty inside. They all probably need cleaning. What did we say that was? See how fast I forgot? That's terrible. That is terrible. Okay, so P E D R E, 17 joules. All right, so P E D R E. 
17, J E W E. P. Pedre, 17 jewels. Um, the older stopwatches go. There's one. That one's $50. Okay, so the one with all the fancy schmancy. See, that one says 12 karat gold filled. Jade bracelet works. $49. Yeah, I'm guessing that the one that I have is probably worth a good bit. The ones that are fancy like that, and this is definitely, that is definitely fancy. I think I might even get a little bit more for this one. So there you have it. Not too bad with the watches. Um, my vision is terrible. Um, I think we did, I think we looked at them all. Yes, we did. There's one more right here. This one I picked out right away. I knew automatically that I could get something for it. Um, this one is, this is really nice also. This is just an Armatron America's Watch. Um, it's just a made in Japan, nothing fancy. Border resistant, border 165, something like that. That's nice. It probably, it has the little um, glow in the dark, little pieces around it so that you can see it at nighttime, but pretty big pile of watches um but so far we'll do all right with the timex um i should do decent with the fossil um the invicta of course the last time i listed an invicta it sold right away this one's going to do really really well obviously um some of the other ones are pretty much junk this one i'm going to do a little bit more research and try to get i'm going to use my phone because my phone has a, a, a you know a really really good camera um, spectacular because it's a um, Samsung Galaxy S10 plus um, which just means it's a bigger phone but whatever but um so we're gonna do some research on this one and this one I have a feeling it's gonna be worth a little bit more than fifty dollars we shall do the research on that one this one is ticking as well obviously because the hand is moving um, got some really cool watches here we're gonna um, I'm going to try to get some of them listed. I have a lot of drafts. My my uh, my niece was here today, and she created more drafts. I did 25 of them yesterday, but the camera she's using is terrible, so a lot of these pictures are just... I guess your pictures don't have to be perfect as long as you get your listings up, but that's not my style. I'm more of a perfectionist. That's why it takes me a lot longer to list. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like my video. If you guys have any questions about any of the things that I have, if you want to purchase anything that you see in my video, hit me up. Thanks for watching. Peace out.